We did not come this far to just break down and lose now. I'm a winner. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. That stupid people win arguments. Like, isn't that a great concept? I know the idea of it makes sense, right? Train yourself to let stupid people win arguments. If you're arguing with stupid people, you're never going to win. Like, you've got common sense. They don't. You're rational. They're not. You have a better understanding of the topic. They don't. They're emotional. Una to find out any best jam to know any best. Why? Why? What's wrong with you? You know how evil and how much energy that takes. So the person who is eating you is somebody you know. So what I tell you, gentlemen, I have told you. Best you attend. Where can candle? Where can best candle? Where we deal na mwana ume vile mwana ume na fakuli na yes. Where can best candle? Ah ah ah. Kuna best. What is the mutual benefit for both of us here? How are we benefiting from this arrangement? You know, a man who's a lone wolf doesn't care to be alone. He's always busy, but not with mindless distractions. He doesn't tag along with others just to feel wanted. Instead, he's crafting his own destiny. A lone wolf doesn't mind solitude. He thrives in it. He doesn't need a crowd to validate his existence. He's comfortable in his own company, and that's a mark of true courage. While some seek shelter in the pack, the lone wolf faces life's challenges head on. He's walked through darkness that would have sent others running, showing a level of fortitude that's truly remarkable. A lone wolf doesn't shy away from the tough decisions. He doesn't let fear or doubt dictate his choices. He makes the calls that others might find too daunting, displaying a level of bravery that's admired by many. In a world where conformity often reigns, the lone wolf charts his own course. He doesn't follow the well-trodden path. He forges a new one. This independence sets him apart and makes him a beacon of inspiration. A lone wolf doesn't measure his worth by the number of followers or likes. He knows his true value isn't found in the opinions of others. His self-assuredness is a testament to his strength. When challenges arise, the lone wolf doesn't wait for someone else to come to the rescue. He's self-reliant and resourceful, tackling problems head-on with a tenacity that's both impressive and inspiring. And in the end, when he looks back on his journey, the lone wolf knows he did it on his terms. He faced life's trials and tribulations with unwavering courage, proving that sometimes it's those who walk alone who leave the most significant footprints. A poor man always thinks the rich man made his wealth out of luck, and the rich man believes the poor is poor because he is lazy. A young lady who married very early thinks ladies who are finding it hard to get married have bad character. A man who just graduated and get a job immediately thinks he is smarter than others, while a woman who just got married and start giving birth sees barren women as people who lived a wayward life. If only the poor knew the price the rich paid to get to top, and if only the rich knows the battles challenges that the poor is going through, none will ever form a theory about each other. If poor can't appreciate the rich man's success, let him mind his business. If it is easy to be rich, he wouldn't have been poor. And if the rich won't help the poor grow, at least they should not kill the spirit of a struggling man. If only you know what people endure or fight behind the scene, you will always thank God for your life. Until you walk in people's shoes, you will never know how hard the journey is. Help each other grow, mock less, envy no one, and love one another. If you're not following me, you might miss out on seeing me again. But if you are, congrats, you're on a journey of continuous growth. Involve God in your hustle. They are waiting for you to fall and become their topic. If you are about to quit, think of that person who depends on you. Think of that person who looks at you as a role model. Wipe your tears, dust your garments, and move on. As long as you have good health, trust me, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Drop a 100 and leave us a follow. If a man is at home all the time and he's the breadwinner, that's a bad sign. And the problem with being a father is you can never get it 100. If I give you time, we don't have money. If I get the money, you don't have me. I can't be there 
and earn a living at the same time. I'm limited and I have an obligation to make sure your life is better than mine. The difficult thing about being a father is that everybody wants it now. The kid wants it now, the wife wants it now, the job wants it now, the opportunity is now because in your early years are your earning years. All the things that you call normal are miracles. Your normal is your daddy's miracle. But the reason you don't see it is because it's normal. Done. 